Hey everyone, it's Trisha Holm with Homemade Smart. And sorry for the way I'm looking today, but today is cleaning day. It is the 1st of November around here. And we are getting ready to prepare our homes for Thanksgiving. We've got a whole bunch of activities coming up. It is a, what they call the holiday season. And um, starting off with Halloween, which I don't consider Halloween a holiday, but I think it's a, a seasonal festive activity. So anyway, we are, um, I started doing something this morning and then go, oops, I probably shouldn't have done that. So I started by wiping down part of my cabinet and I go, ew, I really need to clean up there. So how can I practice what I pre, or how can I tell you how to do things if, show you how to do things if I don't do it myself. So what I'm doing today is um, opened up a huge project that I really wasn't anticipating. So I don't advise that, maybe do little chunks at a time, but anyway, nonetheless, what I've done is I've taken off, and it depends on your house, your kitchen, and how it's all set up, but we have open, if you can see up here, I'm not going to move the camera obviously because I'm by myself again, but up here we have open um, cabinets. We don't have faces, we don't have soffits or anything like that, or crown molding or anything, and the cabinets do not go all the way to the ceiling. So it gets extremely dusty and extremely greasy up there, especially in the kitchen. And if you don't stay on top of it, which I haven't, but I do have an excuse. I have been under the weather the last several months with my, you know, my, my arm surgeries and things like that. So, um, so that is just something that I haven't been able to keep up on. But if you can plan one day, one evening a month, well, everybody, everybody's you know asleep or whatever, to just wipe down the tops of your cabinets, you will stay so much ahead of the game rather than, than waiting and doing it all at once, which is what I've kind of done. So I always made, I always said when the house was rebuilt and remodeled that I would never let my kitchen get this way. Well, I let my kitchen get this way. So anyway, so what I've done is I have pretty much taken everything off the counters, off the, off the tops of the cabinets, and have wiped them down. For, unfortunately, on this side of the kitchen is where our stove is, our cooktop, that kind of stuff. And we do have a fan, uh, a, a ventilation fan. However, it still is going to get greasy up there. So if you can focus on the places that your kitchen or where your cooktop is, then uh, when you're doing your weekly cleaning, then it's just a really quick um, uh, a wipe down. So if you can do that, that is terrific and that will save you so much time in the long run. Um, the other thing is we also have a ceiling fan here which helps to circulate the more hot air or the cool air or whatnot. Unfortunately it also splatters the grease when the kitchen's going on so it's kind of a, a double-edged sword when it comes to that. So that's going to be another project I'm going to work on right now. But what I've done here is I've got my wine rack and um, this, number one, my husband, I love him to death, but um, he loves to put things in places that usually they don't belong there. So this kind of tends to be kind of a catch-all, kind of like if you have a dining room table in the kitchen or a kitchen table or an island, it's a catch-all for everything. He finds something and always finds something to find a catch-all, but anyway. So this is my, my wine rack and I have just used my, my cleaner and I'm even really embarrassed to show you my, my towel because it's absolutely horrendously filthy. But um, I'm just wiping down the fronts of it. And you know, after a while, um, what happens is if you've you know done any kind of cooking and maybe something splattered, try always, always to wipe it up as soon as it splatters. Otherwise, it's going to get gummy, it's going to get sticky, it's going to get maybe even stained, and you just don't want that. So this is the area that I'm at right now in my personal kitchen is um, what I like to call my baking center. And what I have over here, and I kind of, and if you can do that, that's another tip I'm going to put on the website. If you can put or organize part of your kitchen into um, sections, like frying or baking or cooking or, you know, what, that kind of stuff, then you'll know exactly where things are. I know you you have a place that you have your your silk, your, uh, your, your uh, dinner plates and your glasses and your coffee cups and maybe your medicines or whatever the case may be. Um, so if you can organize the rest of your cabinets, depending on the size of your kitchen and your cabinet space and that kind of stuff, then um, you can go ahead and, and put certain things that way. So over this area, I've got my kitchen mixer. I do have my waffle maker, um, my food processors out. But then I also have my 
all my cookbooks are up here. I'm not fortunate enough to have a cookbook rack, which if we're able to remodel next time, that's what I'm going to have. But anyway, that's here. I also have all my measuring cups, my measuring bowls, that kind of stuff. And um, and then down here, I've got my baking. Um, I think I just open this real fast. Try not to take too much time. In here, I have all of, all the things I use for baking, such as pastry cutter and my uh, my rolling pin and my whisk. Now, whisks are kind of general. You kind of use them, but I may only use them for that. And any other type of my teaspoons and those kinds of things. And of course, I do have them supposedly have them in. I have dividers in here too that I put certain things in. Um, certain containers to be a little bit more organized so you can go, oh, okay, that's where it belongs. Unfortunately, I love my children to death. However, they sometimes in a haste to get their chores done will just throw things in where they think it goes. And I will find stuff all over this kitchen. Who's with me, right? Okay, anyway. So you have a little patience and you have to reorganize it or follow them or whatever. That's fine. So sometimes I get things in here that don't belong and I can't find what I'm looking for. But anyhow, I'm totally digressing. Sorry. All right. Busy morning. Let me tell you, folks. Busy, busy morning. I've done a lot yesterday. It was almost as intense. So um, anyway, so this is kind of what I've got with my baking center over here. And that way, I just know where everything is. And that's what is... Um, and that's what you kind of want to do. So I'm going to uh, to just clean this up a tiny, tiny bit more. And um, and also when you're putting things away, if you want to, or if you have a second, go ahead and wipe the insides of your cabinets down too. You know they need it once in a while as well. And I'm really sorry if I'm out of camera here, but again, I am by myself today, and so I don't have a a helper here that can help me guide this camera. So, but this is what I kind of do is I just kind of look through here and go, oh, I guess I don't need that, or oh, I guess I don't need this. Oh, that's what that went to, whatever the case may be. So, um, like I'm finding hate things here that I needed the other day that I couldn't find. So, anyway, um, so this is kind of how I'm going to organize my cabinets a little bit. And then, of course, I do have a pantry in the back. Uh, a Rubbermaid container that I use as my pantry that I can throw things into as well. So um, anyway, so that's just a little type of hint that hopefully could be pretty helpful. Oh, that does fit in there. I thought those did. That could be a little bit helpful for you, I'm hoping. So um, that's kind of what I've been doing here today. And I, I have in my pantry or in my baking center, I do have my measuring cups. I have a couple, you know, if you have some you just love and you never want to get rid of, and I think I'm totally out of space there. I'm really sorry. Um, I have one that doesn't even have a handle on there, but I love it because it's really good for a quick dip. So I usually kind of put these all together. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm, that's why I'm kind of um, putting these, getting these all back together. But um, And I have actually a couple of sets, and I'm actually, oh, there's that one. I knew, oh, that's not the right one. Um, and so I do have a couple of sets that I kind of put together. And if you can do that and put them all together at the same time, you're just ahead of the game as far as I'm concerned. So that's nice. They all kind of fit in there. Now, the other unique thing is when we were in Sweden with our family a couple years ago, uh, one of my our cousins, I was asking her about doing some baking, an authentic Swedish baking, and she, um, uh, she got me actual... Uh, metric measuring cups, and I'm so thrilled because I use them when I do my Swedish baking. So, uh, a lot of the recipes I have are um, totally um, uh, in metric form. So, all right, so I've got this kind of reorganized a little bit on how I need it to be, and um, and some, you know, fortunately, I have some things that stack, so that makes it kind of nice. So. Anyway, so I've got this gone do, doing here and wiping down even the tops and the insides real, real quick. I'm not doing this on every cabinet today. I just don't have time. It's a zillion things today. Our firstborn turned 20 today, so I'm uh, actually right about 45 minutes ago. So I'm really, really thrilled. Now, um, so anyway, so I've got that all kind of wiped down and things like that. So the point really is what I was trying to make is um, this is a my wine rack and I've got I'm going inside and cleaning the insides of this it hasn't been done quite some time I will be honest with you 
So I'm going to redo that, wipe all that down, wipe down my, my, um, uh, my wine bottles and my liqueur bottles and things like that. And then also I will probably end up wiping these down because we're going to start using these being that it's the holiday um, entertainment season. So I'm going to wipe down those. When you're doing your weekly cleaning, once you've done your thorough clean top to bottom, which may take you a while, I will warn you right now. Once you've done that, then on a weekly basis, if you use even just a little feather, one of those um, um, Swiffers or dust, little dusters that, that suck everything, if you have one of these and you just go in real quick and kick those down, that's good enough to do on a weekly basis. And then once a every three months or you know once a, um, a season or once every six months really do that deep deep clean or once a month if you're able to even but you won't have to do that deep deep clean and it won't take as long if you're doing this stuff on a weekly basis on a real quick dusting which is something i haven't been doing i will actually totally be honest with you but i'm going to try and get back on the um on the track on doing that so anyway so that is what i have for right now folks and hopefully we'll be back in a little while and we'll show you um another hopefully another tip have a great day and it's done <laughs>